The Campi Flegrei volcano rose again in Europe experiencing the largest seismic waves to shake the southern region of Italy. The seismic swarm lasted almost five hours, triggering panic among residents in nearby cities. Campi Flegrei is Europe's largest active caldera and the volcano is showing signs of possibly erupting. A caldera is a type of crater that forms when the roof of a volcano collapses into the magma chamber when the crater is empty during an eruption. The ground swelled and rose 66 feet, then fell again as the volcano released its magma stores. Residents on edge face 2.5k earthquake as Italy's supervolcano roars relentlessly. The Italian government has prepared for the possibility of mass evacuation of tens of thousands of its population. The land beneath Pozzuoli, a town located near the center of the caldera, has risen over the past 20 years. This irregular seismic pattern began to occur around 10 years ago and has continued to increase since then. In a similar pattern of swelling and seismic activity, known as a Brady seismic crisis, the ground surface in the Campi Flegrei area is rising at a rate of 3.5 inches per month, triggering more than 1,300 earthquakes per month. Christopher Kilburn, professor of volcanology and hazard geophysics at University College London, said the activity at Campi Flegrei was caused by changes in the structure of the volcano's crust. However, if a crack occurs in the Earth's crust, there is no guarantee that magma will erupt. Meanwhile, the Italian government reviewed the situation last month and will call for evacuations if officials feel buildings are vulnerable to collapse. Most of them were too small to be felt, but they started to get bigger, which could be felt and raised people's awareness, and then it all stopped. The Earth's surface did not return to pre-crisis levels in the 1970s and 1980s, meaning any uplift would expand the Earth's crust. Each crisis begins where the previous one ended, Kilburn said. Nello Musumeci, a civil protection minister, said any evacuation would only be carried out if there was an urgent need. Pamphlets have also been distributed to local residents in Pozzuoli about what to do in the event of an eruption and its impacts. However, everyone here knew that the evacuation plan was inadequate. However, this may not have been necessary, as everyone had already left when the volcano erupted. A resident named Vincenzo Russo said the threat of an eruption had torn his family apart so he wanted to stay while his wife and children wanted to move to another city. When you sleep at night, nightmares are always there. You forget the situation and you are on the couch, then the vibrations come with you. The ground is currently rising at a rate of 0.8 inches per month and there has been no change in this rate since the seismic waves occurred last week. About 450 earthquakes have been recorded in the past month, compared with 1,252 in April 2024, most of which were magnitudes less than 1. Temperatures and carbon dioxide fluxes measured on the surface of Campi Flegrei also show no significant changes compared to recent months. The cause of the swelling is still unclear. There is some debate as to whether what happened was actually gas accumulation, magma accumulation, or a disrupted hydrothermal system. Whatever the exact cause, if you stretch something long enough, it will break somewhere. Following the seismic waves that occurred last week, Gaetano Manfredi, mayor of Naples, said the situation was under control and there was no risk of an eruption. Experts told news channels that the volcano is unlikely to erupt anytime soon.